Hello everyone, this is Teacher Benjo from the city of Balanga National High School. Welcome to another episode of our vlog. So I'm really stoked and really excited to be able to see all of you watching today. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really excited. So we are down to our part two of our lesson for today. We just discuss the mitosis process that happens. Um, during cell division um, on our first video regarding this topic now we are down to the next one which is meiosis so if you guys are ready I am too let's get started so for our learning competency we will compare mitosis and meiosis in their role in the cell division cycle so on the previous video that we had earlier we can we discuss the process hap that is happening during mitosis this time we will be discussing the process that will happen during meiosis and as we do so we can pretty much compare the difference between the two so what makes it different and what makes it similar for mitosis and meiosis so meiosis is the process where a single cell divides twice to produce four cells containing half the original amount of genetic information so these cells are our sex cells sperm in males and eggs in females so we had that discussion already back when we were in our previous grades so this is just a review and just a rein reinforcement of our existing knowledge about um, about cells so during meiosis one cell divides twice to form four daughter cells these four daughter cells only have half the number of chromosomes of the parent cell they are called haploid meiosis produces our sex cells or gametes, eggs, eggs in females, and sperm in males. Meiosis can be divided into nine stages. These are divided between the first time the cell divides meiosis 1 and the second time it divides meiosis 2. So what sets meiosis apart from mitosis is we have the what we call meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 as we move forward to the lesson we will be able to discuss more about this these stages so it's a little bit longer as compared to mitosis but i'll help you so this is a picture of what will be happening in meiosis 1 to meiosis 2 as you can see it's clear right if you have a picture so in the previous lesson i showed you mitosis and its picture now i'm showing you the picture of meiosis and its stages so meiosis 1 we have prof under meiosis 1 we will be undergoing prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and then telophase 1 um, on the other hand, meiosis 2, we will be undergoing prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2, and then we have the what we call daughter cells. Alright? So, interface. So, for meiosis 1, we have the what we call interface first. So, the DNA in the cell is copied resulting in two identical full sets of chromosomes so we have here the picture of that so that's the picture so remember that we have first the initial stage is the interface and then prophase one the copied chromosomes condense into x-shaped structure that can be easily seen under a microscope so that's the picture those are the x-shaped structure of the prophase one Metaphase 1, the chromosomes pair line up next to each other along the center equator of the cell. The centrioles are now at opposite poles of the cell with the meiotic spindle extending from them. So that is what we call our metaphase 1. Next is we have the anaphase 1. The pair of chromosomes are then pulled apart by the meiotic spindle which pulls one chromosome to one pole of the cell and the other chromosome to the opposite pole. The meiosis 1, the sister chromatids, stay together. This is different to what happens in mitosis and meiosis 2. So that is our anaphase 1. 
So as you can see, it's given in the definition. All the description was actually given by in the definition. Okay, if if I am quick, you can pause my video and read the definition given, so you can contemplate and really absorb everything that is in it. So telophase one and cytokinesis the chromosomes complete their move to the opposite poles of the cell so that's it in the picture let's go down to meiosis 2 on the other on the other hand so we are now done with the stage of meiosis 1 um, we have the what we call the second stage of meiosis uh, meiosis which we call meiosis 2 prophase 2 now our two daughter cells each with 23 chromosomes 23 pairs of chromatids in each of the two daughter cells the chromosomes condense again into visible x-shaped structures that can be easily seen under a microscope the membrane around the nucleus in each daughter cells dissolves away releasing the chromosomes the centrioles duplicate and the meiotic spindle forms again so that is our prophase 2. Next stage, we have the metaphase 2. In each of the two daughter cells, the chromosomes pair of sister chromatids line up end to end along the equator of the cell. The centrioles are now at the opposite poles in each of the daughter cells. Meiotic spindle fibers at each pole of the cell attach to each of the sister chromatids. So that is the metaphase 2. Anaphase 2, on the other hand, the sister chromatids are then pulled to opposite poles due to the action of meiotic spindle. The separated chromatids are now individual chromosomes. So in the picture, take a look at the picture. Next is we have the telophase 2 and cytokinesis. The chromosomes complete their move to the opposite poles of the cell. At each pole of the cell, a full set of chromosomes gather together. A membrane forms around each set of chromosomes to create two new cell nuclei. So that is the telophase 2 plus cytokinesis. Alright, so that pretty much ends my uh, discussion about meiosis 2. Um, those are pretty much everything about the stages of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So um, it's quite longer, if you notice, as compared to mitosis 1. But then, um, if we will, um, there's a lot of um, stages or process that they have to undergo for them to be able to complete the meiosis. So, you can always turn back to the video to review everything that I have said, if it is a little bit quick. But yeah, that is the um, pretty much the main difference of meiosis as compared to mitosis all right so thank you so much for watching my short video clip about meiosis i hope you like it and if there are any other information that lacks in the video you can comment it down below for additional information and for um, conversation and please like and subscribe i hope everyone is good um, especially in your st in your study regarding mitosis and meiosis so once again i am teacher Benjamin Joseph Billy Mibao, your science vlogger for the day, and um, you guys have a great day. All right, I'll see you later. Bye bye.